Hi, I'm Scott Weber, a product manager here at Blue Marble Geographics. And today I would like to demonstrate how to use batch processing in Geographic Calculator. If you have multiple files with the same coordinate system and format, and you would like to apply the same conversions or transformations to those files, we can use batch processing. And batch processing is available for spreadsheet-based, raster, vector, and seismic data in Geographic Calculator. Let's take a look at an example for some data for the state of Maine. These are boat launches. And the problem I have is that the data are provided in 16 separate files, one for each county. Now these are spreadsheet-based files, so I'm going to use the point database conversion job to process them. I've set up what we call a template job for one of the files, in this case, Franklin County. And I'm gonna use this job to create the batch for all 16 of the county files. You can see there are several columns, including latitude, longitude, and elevation. And I have some blank columns for northing, easting, and height. So what we're gonna do is convert these data that happen to be in NAT83 and ellipsoidal heights to NAT83 2011, UTM zone 19 north, and in NAVD88 height. And to do that conversion and transformation, I'm going to use NADCON5 for the horizontal component. And this is an NGS transformation that is supported by Geographic Calculator. And then I'm going to use the USGOID model of 2018 for the vertical transformation. I set my input columns, latitude, longitude, elevation, and then my output columns are those UTM, northing, easting, and height. So now my template job is completed. In order to create the batch, I'm going to right click on the job in the project manager and select batch add. This brings up the generate point database conversion dialog, which you see looks a lot like the job itself, the template job. Um, but everything is grayed out because we are in inheriting all the properties from that template job so that we don't need to fill it out again. All I need to do is add some data which are the 16 files. And I'm going to add a suffix for the output. And then specify the path for the processed output. And then I just click generate. And the 16 jobs are generated under a batch point database, what we call node. If I right click on that batch node, I can process. And over the course of a few seconds, each individual job would process and we can see that they have finished and they're green, which means they're successful. And then if I go to that output folder, there are my 16 output files. And if we open just one of the files, we can see that the northings, the eastings, and the NAVD88 heights are filled in and processed. If you want to know more about batch processing in Geographic Calculator, please go to our website at bluemarblegeo.com. And if you have questions, you can submit those to geohelp at bluemarblegeo.com.